It's 7 a.m. from Fox 35. This is Good Day Orlando. Check this out. There is another round of security breaches on smartphones. This one is called the Stage Fright Hack, and it is specifically targeting Android devices. Now, Google actually found this issue last year, but not every phone has been fixed yet. So we brought in our tech expert, Tom Jelnick, to help us figure it out. Good, Good morning. You. Nice to see you. Every time I hear about these hacks, it makes me a little nervous, but this one is specifically for Android phones, and that's yeah. what I have. So nice. how dangerous is this? What are well, we this, talking about here? This one disturbs my inner geek. Oh, right? geez. So this is scary. Um, about 275 million phones are potentially wow. could be hacked. And what information do hackers then have access to on our phones? Pretty much anything. Really? So here's the scary thing. If you open an email and you click a link that says cute kittens and you want to watch it, mm -hmm. that cute kitten website is actually what's going back and hijacking the Android operating system, oh, okay. which allows these hackers to essentially get whatever they want. So is that what we need to be looking out for, weird emails? Yeah. Is that how it's getting access to our phone? That's certainly one way. Other ways are um, apps that are rogue that have things okay. hidden underneath them. But, you know, nine times out of ten, it's an evil website that's actually triggering something that allows them to get control. Okay, so how do we know if we have this hack on our phone right now? So some things I want you to look out for. Your phone starts running, you know, excruciatingly slow. Okay. Or the battery life keeps getting drained very quickly. Okay. Lastly, pay attention to the data usage. If you see a huge spike on the amount of data ah, that's being used on your phone. That's a hint. Odds are somebody's connected to your phone that you don't want to be connected to okay. your phone. Okay, and you say there's a simple fix for this. What can we do if we think this is on our phones? So if you haven't run an update on your phone since October of 2015, you could be at, at risk for this. Um, the simple way to do this is simply upgrade the operating system uh, and patch it. Now people run into trouble though, if they have, if they don't have enough space left on the phone. Yeah. So what do you do then? Because I know, like Amy has 2,000 pictures on her phone, right. so she can't update anything. Do you have to go and delete all of that stuff? Not all of it, but you certainly need to go either back that stuff up or go look at the apps. Like my kids love to download a million and sixteen yeah, apps right? on your phone. On my phone, which, <laughs> which is an Apple. But anyway. So, oh, staff. Staff. No problem for you. But no. Um, so you know. Down, delete some of those apps that you're not using, especially the kids' games and stuff like that. They okay. suck up a ton of real estate. Okay, I am completely illiterate when it comes to technology. How do I update my phone? So, you go into <laughs> settings on your Android, and okay. there should be a, it's called a, a software system update. Okay. So, simply run it. Um, it takes, it can take sometimes hours. So, okay. be prepared, plug it in. Maybe do it while you're sleeping. Make it happen. You're yeah. so good. Thank you for being you here. We appreciate it. Where can people get a hold of you? Sure. On targetwebsolutions.com. All right. Thank you, Tom. Good to see you.